Concorde was the commercial aircraft that was both loved and envied by aviation enthusiasts worldwide. The aircraft started operating over half a century ago and was the result of a merger between British Aircraft Corporation BAC, and France's Aéro Spatiale. Making its first test flight on March 2, 1969, there may be a few things about the Concorde's rich history and complicated past that you might not already know. Number 1. The aircraft stretches each flight. As a result of the intense heat produced by the airframe, the plane would stretch anywhere from 6 to 10 inches each trip before contracting as it cooled. Number 2. The Concorde was inefficient at low speeds. When the Concorde was operating at Mark II, it was known to be somewhat fuel efficient. However, as a result of its design, it could burn up to two tons of fuel when simply taxiing to and from the runway. Number 3. It had a rival from the Soviet Union. Known as the first commercial aircraft to exceed Mark II, the Tupolev Tu-144 hailed from Russia, having similar features to the Concorde. The Russian passenger aircraft took its first flight three months before the Anglo-French plane. According to the BBC, the Tupolev Tu-144 never became as popular as the Concorde. It was 10 to 15 years ahead of what the Soviet aviation industry was capable of at the time. The Tu-144 had design failures, mainly in the manufacture of its brakes and engine control. The jet is best remembered for a disaster that took place at the 1973 Paris Air Show. It was there that the display broke apart in mid-air, killing 14 people. Number 4. There was an anti-Concorde project. Founded by activist Richard Wiggs in 1966, the anti-Concorde project proved to be another setback for the jet. As reported by The Telegraph, Wiggs viewed the Concorde as elitist and inherently unsafe. Specifically, the jet's loud sonic booms were cause for concern environmentally. Number 5 fastest crossing of the Atlantic. Up until today, the Concorde holds the record for the fastest crossing of the Atlantic, coming in at 2 hours, 52 minutes and 59 seconds. The flight occurred on February 7, 1986, from New York to London. It would usually take a little over 7 hours to complete the route with subsonic aircraft. Number 6. The aircraft served the elite in luxury. Concorde passengers came from elite backgrounds and were treated to luxury on each flight. Each meal consisted of gourmet delicacies from lobster and truffles to caviar and foie gras, all accompanied by champagne. There was an exclusive party on board its last commercial flight. The jet's last flight ever took passengers from New York to Heathrow in London. It served celebrities and high-profile individuals, including Sting, Joan Collins and Christy Brinkley. Number 7 the E in Concorde was controversial. Even the ending letter of the Concorde caused controversy. Initially viewed as the French spelling, UK Prime Minister Harold Macmillan took away the E after an argument with Charles de Gaulle. In 1967, however, Technology Minister Tony Benn switched it back to the original. He explained that the E was important as it stood for Entente Cordiale and Excellence. Number 8. The oldest passenger to fly on the jet was 105. Across 34 years of operation, the Concorde amassed 2.5 million passengers. Eva Woodman made history for being the oldest passenger on board the supersonic jet at 105 years old. Hailing from Bristol, she took a 90-minute flight from Filton over the Bay of Biscay in 1998. Number 9. It had one major crash. The supersonic jet had prided itself on 31 years without crashes, but this came to an end in July 2000. Air France Flight 4590 crashed upon its takeoff in Paris, erupting into flames. The incident killed everyone on board, as well as four people on the ground. Number 10. It didn't just carry passengers. Another exciting piece of information about the Concorde wasn't just transport for passengers. Seen as an ultra-quick mode of transport, it came as no surprise that air couriers took advantage of its speed to carry human organs, diamonds and currency. Although the Concorde may no longer be operational, it remains a considerable part of aviation history. Now, 17 years after the Concorde performed its last flight, there are still talks about crafting a similar supersonic jet to take its place. Do you think the Concorde should have continued flying? Let us know in the comments below.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.